But when you say, I don't know. I just found myself in worship. And somebody called my house. Somebody with me tonight. And see, that's what the Lord is trying to bring us into. That she was trying to bring us into a place where we become kingdom. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards the desk the sacred today as you begin to pray for me. I will begin to pray for you because I'm expecting God to release the word tonight that will not just be a word, but a word that brings life and brings change to everything we do, everything we say, and everywhere we go. Come on, begin to pray right now for me right now. Come on, where the intercessors have right now. Come on, come on. Come on, Lord, come on, Lord. Right now, send the anointing. Send your anointing. Yes. Send your anointing. We bless you for this house. We bless you for the angel of this house. We bless you, Lord, for you already spoken. Father, all we're receiving right now is the, the backdrop, the residue of what you've done. Lord, we give you the praise. We give you honor. We extol your name. We exalt thee on high because it's your life that you've given us. And now we can say we are blessed of God in the name of Yeshua. Church of God say amen. 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 Uh, I'm not good at formalities. And uh, I spent years in corporate America, so I should be good at this. But I don't even care to be good. Uh, I just want to bless those that are here. Amen. I'm not good with all this welcome and, and, and blessing this person. I'm not good with that formality stuff. Amen. I just like preaching the word. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Y'all ready for the word? Yeah. Love y'all. I don't want to get mad. You know, I fucking mad at you, right? He didn't call my name. You know? After all that ain't done for him. You know? Amen. No man, no. no Oh no man, nothing if I can get that out but to love it. Amen. Holla, y'all ain't here me today. Y'all sitting like y'all stuck up. Come on now. Y'all gotta be real now, right? Sometimes y'all get mad, bitch, if they call my name now. Oh yes, uh-huh. You didn't call my name, amen. Sometimes we do it purposely. Amen. Not to show off, we just want to see where your heart is, amen. Hallelujah. Bitch back there like y'all, y'all know what's real, right? I'll call this one over here. Just come, come, come. You like that. You like that. We're going to keep you back there tonight. Well, we thank the Lord again for, uh, for Bishop <laughs> in the back of the church. Uh, but I love his spirit. Uh, I love the spirit of his wife, uh, First Lady. I know sometimes we have, we have all these titles, but we're not really into them, amen? And I love that uh, about pastor to pastor, that we're really not into all the formalities and all that stuff. But you look the way I'm dressed. Come on. Let's be real. Amen. I'm not into this tie accident with the sock and all. I ain't care about that stuff. Amen. Because most folk you see with that, man. Most folk you see like that, and you follow them home. Y'all quiet now, right? Tie spread out. Follow them jokers home. I tell you, tear your car up trying to follow them. Because you hit every pothole. Y'all, you hear what I'm telling you? Look good though, right? It ain't about looking good, right? It's about being good, amen? Let's do this real quickly. All right, let's, let's, let's get into the word. All right. Uh, I'm just going to give you the title uh, right now so we can just begin to move. Uh, title uh, of the message tonight as we're dealing with dreams carry favor. Uh, there's a subtitle for that as well. Uh, Bishop blessed us uh, the last two nights uh, ministering the word of God, amen? Amen. Oh, y'all weak. Come on, amen? Amen. It's better, it's better. You've got to talk back to me, amen? Don't get, don't get quiet, don't get quiet. Uh, but Bishop talked so much about uh, how our, our dreams, they carry favor. And uh, he, he talked uh, eloquently about uh, our dreams have to have three things in them. Uh, he talked about direction, instruction, and guidance. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So, I mean, who, who took notes? Amen. Yeah, all right. Good, good, good. So we, we, we must understand that, that dreams do carry favor, but we must have instruction. So that's what we're dealing with tonight. Our uh, title for tonight's uh, message is uh, Satan, Your Desire Has Been Rebuked. Sometimes we get excited about the title. I'm preach that title alone should do it. It should be the word. But uh, just look at somebody right now and just uh, with your, your dignified self. Just say Satan. Satan. Let's wait. Let's try again. Say Satan. Satan. Say your request. Your request has been denied. Has been denied. Turn to somebody that believes you. Find three people and say Satan. Hey. Come on, speak to God. Tell him that you're, you're Satan. Tell him, come on. Satan, hey. your, your, your desire your has been rebuked. Hallelujah. John's gospel, that's where we're going to begin tonight. The gospel according to John. The gospel according to John. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all getting quiet. Oh, help us, Holy Spirit. You know, we got a little praise still left in you. John's gospel. Uh, it's here we begin. And, uh, 
again, uh, dreams do carry favor. However, there's something that we must begin to understand if we're going to ever reach the pinnacle of what God has for us. Amen. And so if we don't understand uh, John, the first chapter, I don't give you the verses yet because folks start reading. You know, preachers start reading. Amen. They start saying, I preached that last week. Amen. Hoping somebody agree with them. Amen. Come on now. This is be real, right? It's between passes. So I don't get the verse. Amen. Until, uh, until the Lord releases me to do so. Uh, but it's at John's Gospel, we begin chapter number one. I, I just want to start with one statement uh, as you begin to flip the page. That's two pages that are moving. And uh, Bishop talked about this on, on, on the first night, Friday night. He talked about our dreams are not our dreams, but they're the dreams of our, our, our God. Amen. And, and so watch this now. So, so that, that, that dream I don't own. I, I don't take ownership of that dream in terms of it being mine. My responsibility is to walk out what God has already walked through. And so, 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 so the Father's dream is a kingdom dream. And I need you to, to understand that. This is why you could get indignant and begin to rebuke the devil for everything he sends a man your way. So John's Gospel, we begin here. Chapter number 1, verse number 42. We're just reading that verse. Uh, there's other places we will go tonight and then uh, we will begin to park it and let the Lord just bless our souls. Amen. Amen. John's Gospel, let's look at uh, verse number, uh, well the Holy Spirit said we got to go up one verse, verse number 41. He first findeth his own brother Simon and saith unto him, we have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted in Greek, the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus, or Yeshua, and when Yeshua or Jesus beheld him, beheld means to stare deeply with intent and intensity into something. And when, and when Yeshua stared deep into Simon, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah, which means the son of John. So his name would have been Simon Johnson. He says, Thou shalt be called Cephas, which is in the Hebrew interpreted a stone. If I can bring your attention once again to verse number 41. I, I like this because it says, uh, Andrew first findeth his own brother, Simon. And he saith unto him, We have found the Messiah. The only way he can be excited about what he's found is he must be looking for something. So they, they watch this now. They, the only way I can really know that I got a real dream of God is that I must have been a dreamer from day one. And so I love what he says here. He says, we have found the Messiah. The only way you can find something is you must be in a position to begin to look for it. And so he realizes that I can't bless you like Yeshua can. So what I've got to do is get you to where Yeshua is. So he begins to bring his own brother to, to, to what we call in Greek Jesus. But in, in the Hebraic, the inspiration name is uh, Yeshua. And he says right here, and he brought him to Yeshua. And when Yeshua beheld him, when he beheld him, he said, thou art, watch this now. He says, thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. And anybody understands the Hebraic culture, it simply means that whatever your father did as a vocation or occupation, it's what was placed upon you. And so really the, the, the dream, if I can just stay right here, the dream of Simon had nothing to do with God. This was what his father put on him. And so Jesus recognizes something. He says, thou art Simon. He's saying that he's speaking of his deeds because I know who you are because I know your father. But if you're gonna hang with me, you've got to get my tree. And so watch this now. Watch this now. So, so what was what, what's the blessing about uh, this, this this reading is that uh, it, the, the Lord is dealing with something in, in Simon that He needs to deal with us tonight with, and that is simply that all of my success must be won in private. All of my success must be one in private and not just that but sometimes we, we we think it's about people that hate us and don't like us and are against us but it's never about people it's always about you and yeshua and what he's interpreting for you to do and so sometimes we believe that it's people that are coming to break us but no one can take his place when he's making me no one can break you when god is making you somebody with me today so no, nobody your mother can't stand in your way no crazy joker that you got the cell phone to can break when God is making you. And God, when he makes us, he makes us amen in private. And so it, it's, it's amazing that sometimes we're so disturbed in life because we don't understand that this fight that we're dealing with right now has nothing to do about right now. It's always about another season. So when you're going through something right now, 